Hey, hey everybody! Good evening gamers. This is going to be a good 2v2 matchup between a couple professional players. BMM is actually, let's see, Fly. So uh, the, the best work out there, the second best work out there. Um, let's see, we have Ted spawning in on this side. So Orc and Undead versus Overclass, which is Reprisal. And Tech Poo, which is Lin. So probably he probably is the best orc out there. Um, so I did a little bit of research for you guys while we're waiting. Let's see. Krypton Graveyard, so we're going fast fiends on this side. And standard human. I don't you never see human doing anything different but see power build the altar. And very standard play for Tech Poo or Lin. <clears throat> so Lin. He was, he took third in WCG 2009 and 2010, so struggling to get that win, but uh, apparently he, he trains a lot. His teammate's Moon, so uh, Moon, a very well-known, uh, the fifth race of Warcraft, um, very dominant for a long time, especially against Orcs. Uh, before Grubby beat him, um, after he developed the Night Elf strategy with Dots, he was 32 and I think two so uh, against orcs against orc race so if that tells you anything that's that's pretty ridiculous anyways um, Lynn um, yeah let's see Lynn he was uh, very good in Warcraft 3 obviously he still plays he's still the top of the, the top of the league really let's see the heroes real quick death knight Ooh, Farseer, Death Knight Farseer, and Archmage, let's see, Blade Master, Blade Master, so good for, good for tanking and then for delivering some of that damage, um, Blade Master's out, let's follow him around for a second, so yeah, um, Lin, uh, with his Blade Master, Mazuru, very, uh, very dominant in Warcraft 3 scene, very, very good, um, his winnings from 2007 to 2009 was 150,000 US dollars transfers too, so that's like ridiculous, um, anyways, you can do a little bit of creeping up here, also creeping at that older Magi, let's see, sold his TP, bought a circlet, very nice, very standard, um, gonna come in here to harass, let's see, allied cover colors are on because you do have two orcs, uh, so I hope you guys don't mind that, let's see, Gonna see a peasant. Definitely gonna go down. Ooh. Oh, he got out of there a little bit. Ooh, he's not gonna go down. How much health does he have? Four health. Um, let's see. Just standard creeping up there. I can't believe that guy didn't go down. Um, a little bit of harass. Anyways, um, so something funny. Lynn was part of Team Pandaria. And Team Pandaria was having some pretty serious financial problems and he didn't get paid for six months and finally he left so that's a little bit ridiculous let's see silver's agility plus three he's got a ring it's a pretty pretty garbage arch items to that archmage probably gonna swap that those slippers to the blade master blade master did pick up a tp and those claws did he he didn't creep that out but he did sell it by that so that's good I'm gonna creep this out as well what are we gonna get cloak of shadows leave it there things garbage sell for 75 or something like something ridiculous um, ooh as everyone goes in he or as everyone takes off he goes in um, meanwhile DK is creeping up he's just past oh, level 2 he got those claws um, plus 6 very nice see a little bit harassed the orc burrow up here um, trying to get those kills on those spirit wolves uh, they nerfed the spirit wolves tremendously. Now they give 65 EXP for each one, so that's just ridiculous. Um, anyways, Lin um, or Mazuru. <laughs> no, it's just the blade math. Anyways, Lin. He actually uh, he won the last WCG. Well, the second to last, 2011. Uh, 2012 was won by Ted, and I think he made it. He was the person Ted had to face, and then he got that that Banshee's that new Banshee strategy hit on him the tier two push that was just phenomenal a really good series if you didn't watch that SBK put that up on his channel it's just, just ridiculous um let's see popping some more of these beasties he's just pumping that archmage look at that there goes another one oh man he's just feeding experience right now 
Um, the, they're not mining right now, though, you know. So that's going to help out a lot. Nobody's mining wood, actually. That's pretty brutal. Uh, so there's going to be that. <laughs> under siege. Let's see. Got a lot of fiends out for Ted right now. <sighs> Just doing some more burrow harass. Definitely going to cancel that one. Very nice. Very nice. If you, if you do cancel it, it gives you a 30 of resources back. So that's pretty important, especially if you're a pro, to make sure that happens. Um, forces so yeah, are Flies is trying to defend right now. Put that bestiary up. That footman was really low health and Uncle BM's standing around. Um, let's see. Gonna drive Ted back as Ted tries to creep this. So really nice. Uh, two armies versus one here. So you can't fight that for long. But he is putting out a lot of micro right now just to turn those fiends around and attack and then turn them back around and run. And now that they're running, they're chasing. We got the unholy aura. So that's very nice. Level 3 DK now, so got some large nukes. Footman goes down. Let's see if we can get that second footman down. He can't easily be swinging. Let's see, he's up up to 41 attack. There we go. Boom. Plus that six too. And try and take down another footman. And Lin is just sitting in Fly's base. So, oh, here we go. Got those four orcs in now. Trying to get a little bit of a surround. There we go. Very nice on that burrow, that way you can't heal it. Burrows are so brutal to keep up. Um, pop a speed scroll, run those grunts out of there. Let's see, we do have no healing salve, so, and Ted's gonna come in and take one out automatically. Second one's going down very soon. One more hit. There you go, turn that one fiend around. <gasps> oh, four health. <laughs> there he goes. So, uh, we're probably not gonna get this one, yeah. BM's down here, Archmage comes up. Reprisal comes up, tries to help out. Uh, pop. Oh, 12 hit points. Not going to go down. The, oh, man. Level 4 on Ted's DK. Going to get a heal off on that. So he's going to be somewhat low on mana, 150. So he's got enough for two more death boils, actually. Pretty nice. And there, that footman goes down. Not too much work. Let's see. On this side, meanwhile, the. Ooh, nice hex. Shadow Hunter just came out, so get a hex off on that Farseer. Farseer's very injured. Two low wolves gonna go down, both of them. Yep. So that's not good. That's feeding some more experience. Uh, Shadow Hunter's pumping now. <laughs> 17 experience. Uh, meanwhile, Ted's gonna creep out this Goblin Merchant shop. <coughs> Woo! Still sick. Transfer those claws. Also got a pendant of energy. Hex comes down on the DK. DK is going to go down for sure. Yes, and Blade Master now is hurt. Blade Master goes down. So a decent trade. It was a level four versus level two, but got to get that in there. Uh, Lip Lich pops that Invuln pot, and Farseer is going to have to run out of here. Lich defending very nicely with all those fiends, and ooh, could have got a block by this. Oh, there goes another. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, Nova to drop that Archmage, very lucky he's got that pendant of energy and we're going to sacrifice the skeleton for a little bit more mana, we're up to 78 or 68. Um, Blade Master going to come in and do a little bit more harass while he's still sitting here. Yep, a couple low hit point grunts, I don't know why you'd want to harass too much, that's a lot of fiends, two, four, six, seven fiends, <clears throat> not to mention the rest of the army over here. Are we going to see an engagement? We do have some spirit links, some sorceresses, and a priest. Very nice to get a little bit of healing, a little bit slow. Let's see, Blade Master sold something. Meanwhile, we're going to get a large consumable item. Let's see, scroll of the beast, so that could be nice. Speed scroll goes down, just to be able to move around quite a bit faster. It's very good for the orc army with uh, melee units. Oh, very nice stomp. Hits down the Blade Master and two grunts. So Farseer goes down, Blade Master at two health. Oh my goodness! And not gonna go down. The Sorceress goes down as he runs out. Uh, oh my goodness! Lin's Blade Master is just doing work right now. I can't believe it's got some very, very close calls. Uh, so we're gonna get ballsy here in Creeper Red. Meanwhile, we're gonna go for a consumable, consumable item for those large, that large turtle camp over here. Okay, we're going to want to get level 2 on that TC, so we're going red right now. Get that movement aura, movement and attack aura. So we're creeping down there, we're creeping over here. We're 
creeping everywhere. <laughs> Level three on that blade master. Staying at tier two. Staying at tier two. Everybody staying at tier two looks like. Oh, uh, except the undead. Undead's gonna go to tier three, and the death knight is back out. Level four. And we have the pipe of insight. So brilliance ore is gonna be added. It's gonna be nice for the spirit walkers. Everybody really. The the Torin relies quite a bit on those the stomps right now um <clears throat> especially when you go shockwave the shockwave costs even more but either way very nice item to have for all your heroes um let's see we're gonna see an engagement so we're gonna chase down the army just a little bit um ted and fly looking to do a little bit of damage got a net off on a sorcerer sorcerer was able to cast a couple slows might as well before you get down it's not like you're gonna kill anything. At the same time, we are doing some red camp creeping down here. We got a, a pipe of insight for this side, so not gonna be too useful of an item. Probably gonna sell it. No, didn't sell it. Um, I mean, it's nice for these, but uh, you already have an arc mage, so I mean, you're not really gonna, not really gonna top the aura. It'll eventually give you. Um, I think these auras are supposed to be 1.5. So like if uh, the Archmage had a Brilliance Aura of 1.5, Blade Master taking a lot of damage. But he does have that Invuln Pot, <clears throat> pushing a lesser vulnerability if he needs it. We do have a couple statues out for Ted, chasing around. We do have a Spirit Walker out here and not doing anything. Probably going to get seen. Come on, Ted, see him. See him. Those fiends just grape walkers. Not going to do it. Going to come in for the hit over here. Didn't take the spear walker. Turn around and kill that thing. There we go. There we go. And <laughs> gets nuked when he goes to ethereal form. Might as well though get a little bit of the, rid of that, uh, or get rid of a little bit of that. Oh man, that's a. I feel like a rapper when I say it. get rid of a little bit of that. Um, man on the lich. Although you do have that you know, pit of new energy. You also have the brilliant star. So this would be very nice for this team as well. Um, See a lot of spellbreakers coming in for a reprisal, and Lynn coming out with just the standard orc army raiders, Brunson and Spirit Walker, Kodo Beast going to be very nice for the attack. We're going to see a big engagement over here. Okay, um, we got Blizzard going down and a lot of fiends. The fiends netted up here. Ted did. Ooh, this fiend's going to go down. Ted was able to heal the first one. See if we can heal him again. No, not in time. Uh, Spirit Link's going down. Farseer is just beating on the units in the, in the meantime in the background. Blade Master is very low, forced force to pop that emblem pot. Another thing goes down, so we're losing fiends like crazy right now. A Lich is in the back of the... We need to get him into the fight. There we go. Um, Raider going to go down. And Farseer was dropped. Uh, so Archmage keeps trying to pop that Brilliance Aura, but keeps getting netted. Very nice. Um, let's see. Shadowhunter going to go down very low and that stomp just did the trick popping that uh, greater uh, <laughs> mana pot get a nice stomp off couple low uh, grunts over here another nice stomp off and check who or Lynn calls GG so Ted and fly take the first game reprisal and Lynn not able to not able to do it, it looked like uh, Ted and fly had a lot bigger army towards the end and that engagement was very nice with all the fiends and stuff like that um, also, I think what made a big difference was that uh, Torn Chieftain. The Torn Chieftain had some really, really nice stomps. Being the second hero coming up in level four, while well, uh, the Farseer only got to three, very nice. Farseer did get nuked a lot and died a couple times. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for game two. If you guys have any questions, concerns, or comments, please leave them in the comment section below to help me cast better or whatever it might be. Um, thanks for watching. Stay tuned.